Okay, when starting a project like this, the first thing you want to do is grab yourself a designated parts bowl or a box. I'll use a couple on this because uh, I'll use a bucket for sandblasting, another one for painting, another one for wire wheeling. But it's all going to go in the same place. We're going to start off by taking this handle off. So I'm going to undo the... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. ways to get old old screws like this off. My first way would be tap it and that usually breaks it loose. If that doesn't do it you can set yourself up with uh, a wrench on your square screwdriver and that'll usually pop it off. If those don't work stop WD put some lubricant on there let it sit for a uh, for an hour or so and that'll clean it up. And we got a wrench that we gotta deal with on the back. So we got a nut on the back side of this one. Okay, we've got the handle off. There was two screws. One right here and one right there. Remove that handle off. Now we're working on this area here and we've undone both the bolts here. Both the bolts have been undone here and now we're working on this one on the side. So the, they had uh, quite a bit of support in here. And actually you'd think that these bolts would be all rusty and stuff. They're greasy. So not that bad actually. Let's hope the other side's the same way. Let's see if I can get you guys a view on what we're doing here. So we're taking these bolts off right here. Backing it up. I showed you guys that the motor worked. Really happy that the motor worked. Because otherwise the cost would have got out of hand on restoring one of these if you have to replace the motor. So you might have to sit and wait another year until you find one at a thrift store, at a yard sale, or at a swap meet, something like that. Notice I'm putting all the nuts and bolts back together in my bowl. If I can leave them on here, I'll do that. It's better if you never even have to take them away from the area. For me at least, I don't like to take them away from the area I, I took them off of. If you can leave them on there, then you know exactly where they went. We're sandblasting this whole base anyway, so if we had to leave a bolt on here, we would just sandblast it at the same time. Oh boy, these are really tight. This one's tight. I think it's just getting bound up though. Yep, that's what it was. Okay, so now there's a backing on it. So this should pull out. I don't want to bend the rod, so I'm going to move the camera back. Very gently. 
Okay, got that apart. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we got a head rush off that one. This area right here, we're gonna remove that rod so I can work with this thing and the rod doesn't get damaged. And uh, so I'm gonna start the process of cleaning this thing up. So I'm gonna start off with the base this time. Get that all done. And the next time I turn video on, this should be completed.